assistant? Why is the music playing? It's loud. Oh, look, it's Stephen. Oh, it's nice. Well, Stephen, I'm pretty sure that it isn't that I'm now deaf. Okay, Stephen. Well, I'll do everything within my power to help you find the kid kidnapper and get Elvis. Why? I'd even look up my faithful assistant if that would help. Imagine that. Come on, assistant. Let's go to the scene of this terrible, terrible crime. Room 31 of Hotel Magnifico. Come on. Oh, I'm done. And... Um, assistant, I'm so glad you're here. You were so shocked when you got kidnapped. I mean, this is the first time in years that anything like this ever has happened in my magnificent hotel. Well, except for the time when that guy got shot, but I guess that doesn't count because that was an accident. <laughs> Not now, Eduardo. Save the lines for the ghost tour. <sighs> Whatever. Sorry about that. Rather impulsive young man, Eduardo. Anyway, I'm afraid you can't come in there right now. The forensic experts are, um... Doing whatever they do, uh, but that's our job. Well, according to the email I received, you two are the backup team. I'm sure we great access tomorrow, but in the meantime, I can offer you a room for the night, half price. This will do. This will do nicely. Good, because I just carried these suitcases up nine flights of stairs thanks to that broken lift, and I don't plan on doing that again. Oh my gosh, he fainted. Yes. Hello, room service? Yes, I would like to order some ice. I mean ice. Yes. No. No. He fainted. Yes. No. Thank you. Stupid room service. Oh, long lady, fancy seeing you here. The last I heard of you, you were working at a cupcake shop. Don't suppose you have any of those famous chocolate creams here? Sorry, Bradley, not today. I quit that job and came to work here only two days ago. The day Elvis was kidnapped. Oh, funny that. Anyway, it's so nice seeing you again. I should have known it was you when you ordered mine. I ordered ice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll go get you ice. Nice seeing you. Assistant? Assistant? Assistant?
Everyone but me, your biggest fan. Well, you could come to me and say my hairstyle stretched so much, I would have had no choice but to change it. Uh, and that would have worked? Well, hell no! But you see, I had no other option. And now, at last, the world will recognize the hideousness of Afros. You as their example. And I, I will be a hero. Absolutely crackers. I heard that. I cannot believe that you were once my idle, vile creature. I loathe you. Well, hello, Lord Lady. I thought I'd be seeing you here. Mm. I've been watching you for a while, assistant, hence my job at the hotel. And it amazes me, for all your cleverness, you still haven't realised that you're not the only one going by a fake name. Those who know me call me Brunette Lady. Mm. One more step and I shoot private. You will dare. Um, hang on a second. I'm not dead. <laughs>